Breaking news. IPOP will confront Asari Dukubo's Islamic militia if it encroaches into Igbo land. Separatist group warns my country people. This is really interesting. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has warned the ex militant leader in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, Asari Dukubo, to stay away from the southeast region of the country. He should stay away. IPOP accused President Bolatini Bullet government of funding and falling insecurity in the southeast region through Asari Dukubo. It added that it is unfortunate that political leaders are mute over the formation of the pro-government Islamic militia headed by Alaja Asari Dukubo, who among the groups causing mayhem, causing mayhem that is sweeping across the Igbo land. And now, Sarah, uh, Sarah reporters on Sunday reported how Asari Dukubo boldly announced that he and his gang of militants were working for President Bola Tinibu of the ruling All Progressive Congress. He warned that anybody who misbehaves or seek Tinibu's downfall will be smashed. Whether the enemies are planning you know, or whatever the enemies are planning, they will fail. He said he's not a ghost. He's just coming from uh, Sudai, Arabia. And uh, he, he, in fact, he has created a private army for Tinibu. And this private army, they are there to work for President Tinibu and President Tinibu alone. And he has made it known that he will succeed. So my country people, the IPOP has however warned that it will confront Asari Dukubo's militants if they encroach into the southeast region. Yes, my country people. In a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, IPOP of Wednesday said currently, the southeast is confronted by threats from the new pro-government Islamic militia uh, group formed and controlled by Asari, but funded by Tinibu's government and the APC party. Unfortunately, some prominent Igbo men and women are behaving as if they are not aware of the dangers ahead, it said. I, Bob, further said that with the ongoing security in the Southeast region, it is masterminded by feuds and their militias. The agenda is to first make the peaceful Biafra agitation look violent before the international community. Secondly, is to create an unsafe environment in order to discourage our people from bringing in their investment home, even as they are being victimized in the northern and the western Nigeria. The state-sponsored insecurity may not end soon. It may lead to something, you know, it may lead to something bigger than we imagine if we don't stand up to confront these sponsored militia groups contracted to destabilize the Indibo land. Asari Dukubo, who is the leader of the pro-government Islamic militia utterances so far, suggests that he has an evil agenda, which is being, you know, spoon filled by, to him, by powerful authorities against Indibo. And the people must wisen up now. They must prepare ahead of what is to come. They must prepare because Asari Dukubo now is taking all these things from his paymasters. The recent viral video where the pro-government Islamic militia led by Asari Dukubo were, you know, banishing rifle, uh, assault rifles, did not attract any media or federal government or pro. That alone is a testament to the tactic support of the federal government of Nigeria. We in IPOP have nothing against anyone forming any militia to protect or to provide security. As long as such militia groups does not target peaceful IPOP members and the Biafra restoration agenda. So they must know their limits like IPOP and the ESN knows theirs. We are kindly watching. We are keenly watching as the agenda unfolds. We will not hesitate to, to confront any group or contracted to destabilize the Alibo, that's the Indibo land, where the businessmen and women, the Ohannes Indibo, the governors, politicians, compromise media houses. 
and one Nigerialist who condemned Namdi Kano for forming ESN. Why are they so quiet over this pro-government Islamic militia group led by the well-known Igbo hater Asari Dukubo? Ndibo, both big and small, are the target of this militia group, particularly the Igbo leaders. If you fold your arms, you will fall victim of these murderous militias, and the government will use their compromised media to blame the IPOP, they will use it to blame the ESS or unknown gunmen as usual. So the IPOP has resisted the use of the of the Fulani headsmen for the uh, Fula, Fulaniization agenda, I beg your pardon, by the previous Fulani government and also the current Islamic government has contracted a Biafran trained Islamic jihadist, Asari Dukubo, who has recruited criminals to continue this radical Islamic conquest agenda in the guise of combating insecurity. And the Igbo land is a top priority for Islamic uh, regiments in Nigeria. And all the agenda will surely fail because uh, Chuku Okiki Abian uh, Abama is with us. And nobody would blame, should blame the IPOB. Nobody should blame the ESN for confronting Asari Dukubo's led Islamic militia because they have gone beyond their limits. So my country people, this is coming from the indigenous people of Biafra, the IPOB. They have also accused President Bola Admetinibu's government of funding insecurity. Yes, and also fueling insecurity in the southeast region through Asari Dukubo. And now Asari Dukubo has the backings of the ruling All Progressive Congress and its president. It seems that he is unstoppable. But the IPOP have made moves to confront Asari Dukubo. That if, should, if he should do anything, you know, if he should come to the southeast region, then they are ready to chase him out. They are ready to deal with him. So they've warned Asari Dukubo, even if he's forming his private army, he should stay clear. They are not really concerned with whether Asari Dukubo has formed his private army to protect Tinibu whatsoever, but uh, he should stay clear. Asari Dukubo and his private army should stay clear from the southeast region of the country. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.